it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack, he just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time. All the time. All right. Big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will get Side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up right. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Nice punch here. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Choi gets hit with a kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Nice leg kick land. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Take down here, he gets it. And they both stand up. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Straight right, he misses. Protect your face. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lands flush with that right hand. Back and forth we go. Choi gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, Superman punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. Lands the right hand. 
just out of the range with that right hand. Hook to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, nice right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, huge knee to the head. Perfectly timed and placed. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Absolutely bludgeon. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Short. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't fire, stop fire, fire. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Choi's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Watch knees to the body. Straight punch. That is useful. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, missed on that one. He is going after that overhand right. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he oh. may be able to finish his fight. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Effective punch there by Chor. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. 
Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice loop and punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Man, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Beautiful punch. Wow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That one was... Nice defense there. Huge block. 15 seconds. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He's got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Beautiful knockdown. Wow, that could have been a 10-8 round for you. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice knee to the midsection there. Choi gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, pinpoint usage of the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and certainly making it count in this matchup. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, big punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. His misses are entertaining. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Serve 
watch this moment. Go finish this fight. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent's left and right. He's out! He's done, he's done! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh!